Again, now the Commission for Gender Equality is planning to meet with Social Development Deputy Minister Henrietta Bokopane Zulu. Now that's after Bokopane Zulu allegedly said women are not only victims but also contributors to gender-based violence. The Commission says if these allegations are true, then it is deeply saddened by this. When a director from the Commission, Sikolile Ngobo, joining us to talk about why they're so upset about what she had to say. Uh, Sikolile, good evening and thanks so much for your time. So, you know, I suppose that there are going to be many sides or, or different takes on what the deputy minister had to say when she says women are equally guilty for gender-based violence to a point I can understand how she might mean that what, what part about that upsets you at this point so you thank you for having me and thank you for allowing the CGE to speak from our per perspective I think for us mainly it's the lost opportunity because there's always a narrative around mm. how women are failures when it comes to raising their children how we Women are themselves contributors to gender-based violence and therefore almost saying they then deserve what happens. So we find her statement as if almost it's like fuels the already wrong perceptions around around the role of women when it comes to gender-based violence. And we, we, we hope it is not true and we hope she can actually retell us what she meant. It mu she must have been lost in translation, but I think yeah. us wanting to meet with her is to also provide her an opportunity to state from her side what she meant when she uttered those words. I just want to read in full what she mm. actually had to say there, saying women are not only victims but mm. also contributors to uh, GBF, which is gender-based violence. We raise angry boys, we are all equally but guilty. Now, nowhere here does she say that that women actually deserve this when it actually happens to them mm. if I read this and I'm a mom I've got a son mm. I and I've got a daughter so I can understand both sides I would imagine her saying or well, is she talking about those women who are being abused at home don't want to lay charges those who lay charges and those who withdraw them those who watch their, their children or know that their children are being molested by husbands partners grandfathers whatever it was but don't do it and, and protect the perpetrator I, I'm just trying to figure out how, you know, I, I, I nowhere for, here does she say that they deserve I think for us, yeah. the word being, we are equally guilty. Mm. So when she, she says we are equally guilty and she says we raise angry boys, she's speaking for all women. So she's not speaking for a particular type of women. She's speaking on behalf of women from all walks. So she said life. some of us would that yes if, if she yes because because sense. because then she kind of uh, says a portion or a percentage of women and we hope that it is supported by evidence what mm -hmm. she's articulating because what what happens here is that she says a very powerful statement but she does not substantiate with evidence that based on a research that the department conducted mm -hmm. in such and such a place and these were our findings if she was speaking from a findings and perspective I think we will have a much better dialogue with her because from where we are sitting the narrative is women are contributors to violence. Does it put us on the defensive immediately? Is it, that what you it, 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 kind, it kind of leaves women even more vulnerable, mm. if I will say. Well, I, I'll tell you why I find it difficult to believe that that's probably what she meant when mm. she says, you know, they deserve it. Because I've spoken to the Deputy Minister yes. before. And, you know, she, she makes a lot of sense when she does speak in other interviews. So that mm. is why. But obviously you're, you're going to be meeting with her. What are you going to be telling her when you meet her? What we, do you want to know? First and foremost, I think as the Commission for Gender Equality, because we, we also monitor state practices and policies so we want to hear from her number one as a lead person and as a lawmaker someone who we look up to to actually lead the the, the, the initiatives around tackling gender-based violence and femicide in South mm -hmm. Africa we need to hear her first from that perspective as to how these utterances actually uh, enhance or add or contribute to the function of DSD in particular in ensuring the prevention of gender-based violence and femicide in South Which Africa. Which is fair, but just to end, I'd like to hear from you. Mm. Do you completely disagree that women on some level, some women on some level, are contributors? That we don't do other women any good by, by how, uh, we, uh, how we let things go, how we overlook things, or just how we portray 
uh, as, as the CGE, we don't prescribe to victim blaming yeah. because as women, we've been asked what were we wearing when we get raped. As women, when we're being beaten up at home, we are asked how how did what did you say? What did you do to 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 to, to start the fight? So I think we are at a point where victim blaming has has contributed a lot into the vulnerabilities of women. And as the CGE, we are not party to that. Okay. Well, whether there is research, whether there is evidence, we are saying categorically victim blaming has to end now. Mm. Yes. Okay, well, I'd be very interested to know the outcome of your meeting with the Deputy Minister and to hear what she's had to say and what she, you know, whether that's what she meant. But uh, thanks yeah. very much for your time and I wish you all the luck. Yes, thank you. Meeting. And we really hope we can invite us to let you know what happened mm. in yeah, that Yeah, we we'll look forward to that. Okay, thanks very yes, much. That's Asikoli Rengobo. She's from the Commission for Gender Equality. Of course, you need to know, we hear that the rain in Gauteng is scheduled to stop or due to stop tomorrow. Let's see if that really is the case.